Hey guys, okay, so we're gonna get into the um, homeschool haul that I had just shown you, and we'll probably only get through maybe pre-K, maybe into my second graders um, stuff. Um, like I said, we got still lots more coming, and I'll have to make another video, but um, for his books, I actually just got him, she's excited about, and I found this on Amazon. Um, it was a preschool little learning pack. Open this up here. He carries this around proud and so excited that he's starting school. Okay, so it has your alphabet book and your first, you know, where it teaches your first words, tracing, uppercase, lowercase, letter sounds. Um, you have your counting. Again, tracing, number of words, order, counting, one through ten. Uh, color words, matching, creative art, coloring games. And last, you have your patterns, your shape words, shape matching, tracing, and counting. Um, I thought this was really cute, and I thought we would uh, be able to go through the this fairly easy, and he would benefit from this, give him a lot to do while I step with the other kids on their work. All this comes with stickers. Oh, 50 stickers included. Um, so here's a little bit. Oh, tracing the alphabet, and E for elephant, um, M for moose, going on through that. And you're counting again just tracing and learning the the numbers there's your colors pretty little pictures and your shapes I'll be tracing the shapes and learning about them and okay so that is his little his little workbook little curriculum for my pre-K. He turns five in October, so he kind of missed the mark for for kindergarten, which I don't think he was quite ready for. These are just stickers that I had purchased um, to use for all the kids. Um, I like to put stickers on their work when they're done um, after I grade it. I try to grade as they're doing their work right afterwards so it's easier to record. Um, doesn't always work out that way for me, but with four I don't know how it'll work out this year. It's the first time I'll be doing four all the way through. Uh, this little Bible reader, this is actually, this is, no, nope, this is, yeah, this is for my second grader, but I'll go ahead and show you. It's, this is for my second grader. I got this at the Dollar Tree, so it was only a dollar, and of course they give you your Bible readers. Um, age range, four through seven, and I guess he could start this, but he is nowhere near um, ready for this at all. So, that's actually for my second grader. I'll put that over there. Um, okay, so we have some workbooks for my youngest, for my pre-K. I got all of these at the Dollar Tree, and I'll just read them to him and help him go through and, and do some of these workbooks. Um, a lot of them are pretty much the basics of what we just showed you in that, in that uh, curriculum thing. And I got him some of these pencils. I actually found these... Um, at a local uh, toy store that also sells crafts and school supplies and all kinds of different things like that. They're actually going out of out of business, so I went and I tried to find some things. And these are the jumbo pencils. And as you can see, well, if you can see, let me kind of zoom in here. They have it. It's fat and it's to where they can grip this easily and feel. So that's what that is. And I got two of those for him. He probably won't use them all the way through. Of course I got Play-Doh. Who, what pre-K kid doesn't have Play-Doh? So we got Play-Doh for him and of course we're gonna have to get more than just this but this is your, just your basic colors, your red, yellow, blue, green, and white. We got this um, from Walmart. I want to maybe reach and say it was maybe about five bucks. Um, a little bit cheaper than actually the brand Play-Doh so this is crazy art, uh, softy dough. Um, and then we got some so this is from the Dollar Tree, so he can make shapes and play with his Play-Doh. And I actually plan on getting him a food kit to go along with his Play-Doh to where he has. he All the kids have enjoyed making food with Play-Doh. I don't know what it is, and then acting like they're eating it or serving it. So I actually plan on getting him um, a very big 
food kit, which I haven't gotten yet, but this was only a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And as you can see, it comes with strawberry and crab and all different kinds of things in there. So that's for his Play-Doh. I got this also at that store that I said was going out of business. Um, I really like this because he likes to color and we have fun and doing all that, but this tells him which, it's kind of like a color by numbers thing, except it just shows you a little dot of which color you should color that balloon or, or what have you inside. Um, and here's kind of a picture, if you can see, of all the different coloring pages that are in there. And of course, then it teaches you your, your colors and your crowns and what crowns to have with that. So I thought that was neat for him to have. And we will put that to very good use. Okay, so this is his activity floor. This is drawing, writing, and more, and different things like that. So, like you can see here, he'll be tracing the star, and he'll be coloring, and he can then draw over here, and just different. There's a huge pad of stickers, and so it's kind of the same thing there, and you're tracing, and then they have um, different pages that I already looked at where you cut, and you just color and do your little activities. So that's for him, and I kind of got him, into doing puzzles at a young age. So I always make sure I have puzzles on hand for him because it's good hands and eye coordination and it uh, keeps his hands moving and interactive and learning things. And this was really cool. I don't have the little cover that come on top of this, but it was just a picture of each of the um, puzzles that are in here. And this is Melissa and Doug, and I really like that it's well made, it's sturdy, and this just slides in and out to be able to get to your puzzle. So it keeps them all neat and actually has on the back of the puzzles like a circle to match up with that puzzle. And on the back of this is a square and a triangle and a diamond. So you can put them back and have them nice and neat and organized. Um, but it makes beautiful, uh, these are dinosaurs. So it makes beautiful dinosaur pictures and he loves this. He does it all the time. He did it a lot last year when I was homeschooling the other three and he, he's really good at puzzles. And um, so we try to cater to that and keep up that, that mind thinking. Okay, so this is his matching game. I haven't been able to find a matching game that I really liked and I used um, to play a matching game with my older two when they were kids. We played it all the time and it is really good for them to exercise their brain. And I'm sure most of you know what the matching game is. You lay all the cards out upside down and you try to flip them over to find a match and just memorization and good fun game to Play with the little ones even my older two actually still play it with the little ones and enjoy that so i got this um from walmart as well um i believe around five bucks or so um so that was that was for him and last i think for him i'm trying to look through here now i have a lot of activities that all the kids can do together and different things like that and participate in whether it be like cooking or something or or whatever it is but uh, for individual things i believe this is easton's last yeah it looks like so anyway this is also a melissa and doug and i adore melissa and doug i love all of their stuff um wish i could just buy everything they have but i got this for him he has not opened it yet, but as you can see, it can, he can make all these different workers here and a pirate and a police officer, um, what kinds of hero and everything, just fun stuff. And he can move them around, just fun little activity for him to do. And as far as for Easton, and my, which is my four-year-old, my pre-K, that is all we have for him so far. Um, if I get another haul for him, I will make sure to make a video. And thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye.